Hello everybody, my name's John Giannini, I'm a member of the recruitment team here at the University of Sussex and this is my follow-up video to the Instagram Live asking for your questions. Now just a quick reminder, um, any questions that are from current students I won't be answering because this is specifically for prospective students and if you have any questions that are specific to your own situation don't forget that you can drop us an email at study at sussex.ac.uk. Let's get going here's my top five questions. Question number one. Will the September 2020 term start like normal? Now the situation with coronavirus is constantly changing at a very very fast pace. The situation looks incredibly different now than it did two weeks ago. Now the September 2020 term is currently expected to start like normal, however it is five months away so the university is and universities everywhere are going to constantly be making changes to keep themselves updated with what's going on at that time. Um, I'd very much encourage anyone who's worried about what that looks like to do their best to keep an eye on all of the feeds and keep checking the coronavirus advice page on our website to make sure they are as up to date with information as possible so that when the September 2020 term starts they know exactly what's going on. Question number two. I have an offer but I'm concerned about moving away from home because of the pandemic. What can I do? So first things first, a lot of students are considering deferral because of the pandemic at the minute uh, and what we would recommend is to not defer at the moment. Um, the reason why is because a lot of things can change between now and the start of term and we don't want any students to make any decisions now based on the pandemic that could um, not keep their options as open as possible. So hold on to your offers um, at the moment is definitely what we would advise. Otherwise, I would recommend checking out my student life talk. In that talk I've got some really great information about managing the distance to and from university and home and looking at things ahead of time like considering transport links, the cost of transport links and how long that journey to and from home is going to be. Question number three, how do I apply for student finance and fund my time at university? Now ahead of time student finance seems really really intimidating. I know when I went I was really intimidated but the actual practicalities of applying for student finance are much more straightforward than you might think. Um, it is a lot of information though so I can't do it in this video. What I'd recommend is going and having a look at my student finance talk that's going to cover all of the things student finance related and break it down including tuition fee loans, maintenance fee loans and also applying for scholarships and bursaries. Um, we also have attached a specific fees and funding page on the University of Sussex website and that gives lots of great advice to both undergraduate and postgraduate students about how you can go about funding your studies. Question number four, how long does it take students to settle into university? Now it definitely takes uh, every single person a completely different amount of time to settle into university. It's a very individual thing and that's absolutely fine, okay? Some people arrive and they're ready to go, other people it just takes a little bit more time to get used to it and used to living on their own. The number one thing to remember is there's lots of things going on on the campus to help with that. First of all we've got Welcome Week which will be run by the Student Union and that's the same at every university. On top of that we've got multiple platforms for support. So we've got residential advisors to help with any housing questions. We've got academic advisors to help with any academic queries in relation to your course and your studies and we've also got a student life centre on campus which is your first port of call should you have any questions regarding pretty much anything else okay. So everything is covered um, but just remember that you're not the only one going through it either. You're going to be surrounded by other first year students who are also trying to settle in um, which makes the whole process much much easier. And question number five what fun things are there to do at university? There's loads and loads of fun things to do at university. University's got to be fun, right? Um, so first of all, the student union will be running events throughout the entire year and those will go through their societies and sports teams and constant activities to keep you busy. There's lots of great nightlife, lots of great restaurants, lots of really fun things to do, particularly in May when all of the festivals kick off here. So thank you very much everyone for sending those questions over. If you didn't get your question answered please don't worry I did read them all um, so you haven't been ignored um, and hopefully you're going to see my face pop up again sometime soon so keep your eyes on our social media channels.